Good evening. Andy Warhol once said that business is the best art. Tonight I'm going to share with you my best art. If you see, hear or feel anything that's on the screen that stirs you, please feel free to use the PK Perth hashtag and my Twitter handle, LoadedBrush. But firstly a question for you. By virtue of the fact that you're in this room tonight, I imagine that this is not a difficult question for most of you. However, I ask this question regularly to a range of groups, and it wounds me to tell you that a majority of people take a large step backwards and say, I'm not creative. For all of those people, and for all of you here tonight, I have some fantastic news. Wait for it. <laughs> We are born creative. It is part of our innate survival instinct to learn and grow. But like all of nature's gifts, neglected, it will perish. However, if your creativity has been beaten into submission by your school, your parents, your boss or your mortgage, and you're trying to get out of your box or off the wall, but you're caught up in the daily grind, or you're just trying to figure out how to fit it all in, and somehow you find that you're just stuck. Picasso said that every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. So just how do we do that? Creativity is a two-step process. The first step is risk. Risk. It sounds bad, doesn't it? Frightening, dangerous even. But as a child you used another word. You used the word play. And you did it with fearless abandon. Not only because of your innate need to learn and grow, but because learning, creativity, play is this much fun. Play is experimentation, wonder, orientation, incubation. Play is, to the 21st century, what work was to the last 300 years of industrial society, our dominant way of knowing, doing and creating value. But I told you there were two steps. The next step is problem solving, and communication is a key element of problem solving. There are too many different aspects and mediums to speak of in one night, so I will touch on only my favourite here, with some more delicious words, this time those of Alan Kay. Scratch the surface of a typical boardroom, and we're all just cavemen with briefcases, hungry for a wise person to tell us stories. The next element of creative problem solving is collaboration. Not usually an excuse to grope the person next to you, but rather a coming together of ideas with a willingness to dialogue, change and grow. Our ability to collaborate, as many of tonight's presenters demonstrate, enhances our creativity, but also rests upon the other elements, most obviously communication and often less understood, our environment, our spaces. I wish I could tell you that this was my office. The light, the colour, the textures, the clarity. Of course, if I actually worked in an office like this, I would spend most of my day dreamily gazing out of the window. In fact, my office looks a little bit more like this. There is a philosophy of education that refers to the environment as the third teacher. Your space is your colleague, your partner, your collaborator. It informs and facilitates your work in sometimes subtle and accidental ways. 
This is why I'm generally avoiding my office. But an ideal creative environment is one that is conducive to your creativity. It may not necessarily be the most well resourced, the biggest, or the tidiest. Documentation is another overlooked element of creativity. Documenting our work supports us in making decisions, as well as obviously our communication and collaboration. Documentation can also improve our observation skills, which are critical to our ability to anticipate and solve problems creatively. Finally, there is integration, what we once talked about as work-life balance. However, balance implies a sacrifice one for the other. Integration is about how we bring creativity into our lives and our work, to be our most authentic and meaningful selves. That is, don't paint the elephant grey if it's pink to you. Loader Brush provides training and workshops to enhance the six elements of creativity, increasing both the individual and the organisation's ability to learn, grow and innovate. Thank you.